four games, all the star game. Yeah. And fifty points. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, Tell me about this experience. Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing to be able to be in this position. Um, you know, after everything that happened last year with me and the injury and everything, you even learn more in life how to appreciate and cherish the moments and the opportunities you're given and um Tonight was one of those times where I just realized, you know, to be in a locker room full of some greats of the NBA and um, the best players in the world and be able to be out here and be able to represent my country and um, my organization. Uh, I just wanted to cherish this moment and make the most of it. And I didn't know it was going to be 50. I thought it was maybe going to be more like 15. But uh, God is good on Sunday. and. Uh, I was blessed to be able in this situation. Cat, most points for a Dominican, what Dominican, for an international player. Mm -hmm. How does it feel to be breaking down those barriers? Uh, it's it's great. It's 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 a, like I said, it's a huge honor. Um, I'm just you know, it's all because of my teammates. My teammates tonight uh, kept finding me and passing me the ball. So I just was uh, trying, like I said, <laughs> take advantage of this opportunity and uh, take some shots. I, I didn't make a lot. I wish I could have made a little more, but uh, like I said, I can't be. I can't. Beggars can't be choosers on a night like this. <laughs> what do you think of Indy as the host city? You think uh, I think Indy's person? great. You know, Indy's uh, it, it's such a, pin uh, a pinnacle of basketball. You know, um, I, I had such love for Indy watching. For me growing up, uh, Reggie Miller was a guy that just was electric to me, especially as a person who loves shooting. So to be able to be in the house that Reggie Miller, Larry Bird, uh, Jermaine O'Neal, um, Ron Artest, uh, you know, we could keep going down the list, and even people like Monte Ellis, I want to give a shout out to. Like, I think just be able to be in a building that they have had such hi historical moments, and uh, it's really special to be able to uh, have my own little piece of history here. When you're a teammate of LeBron, what's it like to be on the court with him, who may be the greatest player ever? Absolutely, like I told him on the court, goat. You know, he's uh, he's one of those guys that he probably will never come again. Just the talent. The, uh, his, his ability to overcome all adversity and his ability to over exceed people's expectations of him. Um, uh, just tremendous respect for LeBron, tremendous respect for what he's done and impact he's had in the game of basketball. Um, I'm just, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm just blessed to be able to, like, for, I have no kids, but to tell my niece and my nephew, you know, that they get to see their uncle playing on the court with LeBron James. It's, 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 it's a really cool experience to be able for them as children to have those childhood memories. Were you aware of having 50 points or, or the point total in general? And did you at some point kind of just internally flirt with maybe breaking the record? Um, I knew I had a lot. <laughs> but uh, I, I knew Ant was the one, as always, there's always Ant, um, was looking at me saying, no. And like, so he was breaking down the points to me on the bench. And I knew it was something special because even Steph got up and was like, get 50, get 50. So, um, I hadn't been shooting three ball well all night, but when I needed them to go in, they definitely did. So uh, God is good. I just uh, just was honored to be in the moment. I, I definitely tried to go the reverse through the legs. I couldn't make it in an all-star game, but I made it in a real game. So kind of uh, funny how I do that all the time. But. What's the reason for so many points at this game? Um, just my teammates. You know, my teammates. Um, getting me the ball, and uh, especially in an All-Star game, when you're big, you never know what's going to happen, but to be in a position where my teammates trusted me and wanted to give me the ball was a, it's just a huge honor and a blessing, and I really got to say, I think it was great coaching. I think the coaching really, like, you know, the play calls and stuff like that, I mean, I think they're fantastic. I, I would love possibly one day to be able to play for this coaching staff wow. if everything lines up, you know. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah, you know. Boy can help. Yeah, yeah. I just, you know, I, I got hopes and dreams. Uh, I just one day want to see No, ET. Our defense was not that good tonight. Um, you know, usually, you know, we number one defensive coaching staff in the whole entire world in NBA, and we found a way to double giving up more than 100 or more. <laughs> Carl, the All-Star game is done. Yes. You're returning the real life. Yeah. The terrific performing in the competition, the wild, wild west. The game, the great news is your team in the Santa Timber will run in the third place. Yes. Uh, I think we're doing great. And this is just this this wasn't about me or Ant making the All Star game. The Timberwolves made the All Star game. Our coaching staff, our in house arena. Me and Ant are just uh, a representation of all the players and amazing teammates we have in Minnesota. Uh, without Rudy, without Nikhil, without Mike Conley, without <laughs> Jaden McDaniels, and all the way down the list, it'd be uh, Knicks or. 
uh, Josh Mina or anybody, without those guys, you know, we wouldn't be here. So it, it, we're just a representation of those guys. Anthony Edwards and Carl Anthony Townsend make the All-Star game. The Minnesota Timberwolves make the All-Star game. I know it's fun. I know it's fun to have the kind of numbers you had tonight, especially in an All-Star game. But for fans to have these huge scores, no defense, there's a feeling we got to figure out something to fix it, to bring it a little bit more down to a regular, more competitive game. What would you do? What is your suggestion after being in it? I think I think you <laughs> make a point. I was uh, I know you talked about the record, and I thought mm-hmm. the same thing I was saying in the back after the game. I said, uh, I don't know if I would have broke the record. Would it have really battered? Right. I, I don't know if the value of it would have been the same. So, uh, like I said, I'm just happy. I'm blessed to be in a position to have a record, to score 50 in an all-star game. Like, I'm honored. I'm blessed. Uh, I can't be happier enough for my organization to be able to represent my organization like that. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like in a way, too, we, we I was telling, yeah, we're playing defense, but, man, we just got some blessed scores now in the yeah. NBA where it's hard mm-hmm. to, to make them not miss. I mean, mm-hmm. Dame's pulling from half court. Right. I mean, it's hard to be able to guard that. So, especially in an all-star game. You want to play, <laughs> play full court defense? Yeah. Like, so, um I think it's I think it's both. I think you know maybe we could do something to make it more competitive. But I think tonight we we tried, <laughs> especially at certain moments you've yeah. seen it was trying. But people are just really good in this NBA. Carl, did, yes. you, did you and Ant and Finch you have just a moment or anything just to kind of soak in that hey you guys have been through a lot together the yeah. last three years and here you are in such a big stage and and just being able to enjoy it together. Um. I don't know if I could say that. I think I think what's going to happen is we're all going to go our collective different ways, enjoy our vacation. I think on you know, vacation, I think uh, vacation two days, but <laughs> um, I think when we're all you know take some time for ourselves and our families, I think that's when it's really going to hit all of us. You know how special it is. Uh, I feel just because of my life and what I've been through in these last couple of years, I've learned the skill of being present and, and truly cherishing these moments and these opportunities and being in the moment and uh, not being uh, afraid to, you know, enjoy, like, look around, be a little kid, you know, like, enjoy these moments, look around, see the crowd, see the kids going crazy and appreciate that and, and, and you know, not try to be cool, just just, just enjoy, like, being an all-star, being a kid, enjoying this moment as, as a man. So uh, I think that when Finchie goes his way, he's gonna, it's going to hit him that, you know, I talked to him earlier today about, like, have you ever got even got close to being on the coaching staff as an assistant coach, as a PD, as anybody? And he, he said he, he got close, but it didn't happen. And I said, well, you, now you got it. It's on your resume. So, And for Ant, you know, he has so many more All Stars to go. He'll be fine. one record in the West. How do you build on that? How do you keep it? It's the one thing missing from your trophy case is, is the big one. Yes. Um, what What do you guys do from here? I think when we af- after this, we take a great rest, re, re you know recalibrate ourselves, uh, have some great time with family. We have a lot of people on our team that are having big blessings come into their life and. Um, have this moment. I think we we start there, enjoy, and then we get back to work. We get back to work. So um, we take it day by day, and we continue to build, and we continue to find ways to get better. And, uh, you know, when we get uh, done with 82 games, we, you know, hope to be at the championship caliber team that we dreamed of and see ourselves being and um, take it one series at a time. I think if I've learned anything, you know, in the playoffs, being in the playoffs, we take it one series at a time. You never look ahead. You never look past anybody. You take it one game, one series at a time, and then when the series is over, we'll move on to the next mindset. Kyle, well, once Ant told you you had 44, were you aiming to, uh, to the record? I didn't know what the record was, but I knew I was aiming for 50, so I took two threes immediately. <laughs> you were aiming for 50. So I haven't made them all night, but I made them when I needed to. So, so <laughs> yeah. Kyle, what was going through your mind when you scored the 50 point? Because we saw you the beast mark yeah. you were making the sign yeah. the 50. Uh, that's a long way from the 10 I had early on, so <laughs> I, w- I will say that. Um, didn't know it would be possible, like I said, uh, just being honest. So. You know, I'm a big, I'm in an all-star game. Not many chances you get to have those kind of shot totals. But, uh, man, I got them up. <laughs> I got them up today. Carl, send a little message for you, fine in Dominican Republic, around the world, for your support in the first day, Carl Anthony Town in the Dominican basketball team, <laughs> and the World Cup, and now in the all-star game. Nah, I just, I'm <laughs> 50. 50. 50. 
Uh, I'm just blessed. I'm, I'm just blessed to have a whole country full of love and full of history and tradition and my family's history cemented there uh, to be able to have all that energy, to be able to represent them with not only through basketball but through the love I show for my mother, a uh, uh, Dominican-born woman, to be able to show that love for the whole entire world and for the game of basketball. Uh, I'm just tremendously honored to be able to represent all the Dominican Republic. I'm honored to be able to do things that they told us was not possible, especially even making the NBA and to find uh, different ways to break barriers and break uh, records that um, people in our island don't get a chance to do. So I'm just so honored and blessed that I even can sit here and, and say these words because um, I know growing up, I remember being in Dominican Republic. I remember being in Santo Domingo. I remember being with Brandon Francis and everybody just trying to make the Dominican team, the U19 team. And now, you know, we're talking World Cups and pre-Olympic qualifiers and stuff. So I'm just so blessed to be in a position where um, I get to just have a whole country supporting and, love, and, and, and loving the Minnesota Timberwolves and loving the game of basketball and um, showing them there's there's more opportunities than just baseball. Okay. Uh, uh, Let me take a Being the number one team in the West, uh, so which teams do you think are the biggest competition? All of them. All of them. All of them. All of them. You can't you can't look past none of them. You can't look down on any of them. You gotta continuously. Everyone's on the same level and they present different challenges and different obstacles. So just keep our minds straight. Continue to be hungry for wins, hungry for success, and never get uh, bored with uh, you know doing the things that lead to success. Oh, before tonight, you really taken apart the uh, All Star Draft format. Yeah. So the change to the East versus West, just you know, what, what do you think of the competitiveness, the stakes of the game compared to years past in the draft? Yeah, no, that's a good point. I told P, uh, PG the same thing. I, I never been part of an All Star like this, so I didn't know how, even at the end of the game, how it works. I'm so used to. You know, even win, lose, you all stand out there. You watch the trophy ceremony, and then everyone heads back to the same. You throw some basketballs into the crowd and stuff. So when they told us right away to get off the court, I was very much more surprised. So, um, I, I, you know, this is old school NBA all-star games, and uh, it's, uh, it's such an honor to be even part of, you know, the history that was being built with the draft and everything and to now go back to uh, East-West and be able to be here again. Uh, representing the West, I mean, it's it's a it's a huge honor. It's a huge honor. And uh, hey, listen, when you make the All Star game, beggars ain't choosers. I don't care if it's a draft. I don't care if it's East versus West. As long as you get to put the jersey on and represent your organization, your family, uh, you don't you don't care. <laughs> All right, hey, thank you, Carl. Yeah.